Looking now at politics on the state and local level, the race for Mobile County Commissioner is heating up. With a little more than two weeks from the primary, State Rep Margie Wilcox and Jerry Carl have been busy. News 5's Chad Petrie has a look at the fundraising race. It's no surprise incumbent Jerry Carl is out fundraising State Rep Margie Wilcox. Incumbents generally have that advantage. Looking at records from the Secretary of State's office, Jerry Carl has gotten 43% of his money from businesses and 43% from individuals, the rest from PACs. As a businessman, it makes me feel good. It's the business community telling you that you're doing something right. While Carl's raised roughly $136,000, Wilcox raised more than $81,000, or 60% of Carl's total. Well, I think that it shows that a lot of people uh, feel like I can do a much better job than the current county commissioner. It is hard to raise against an incumbent. More than a third of her money comes from her previous campaigns for state rep. In new donations, more than one-fourth from businesses, 20% from PACs, and 16% from individuals. One of her top donors is Lieutenant Governor turned lobbyist Steve Windham, who's given at least $5,000. Personal friend and Revenue Commissioner Kim Hasty has donated to Wilcox, along with County Commissioner Connie Hudson, who's frequently clashed with Jerry Carl. Carl has some friends at Government Plaza, too. County Attorney Jay Ross is a donor, along with City Finance Director Paul Wesch. His top donor so far is developer Greg Sad, who donated at least $10,000. While Wilcox hasn't raised as much money, she is spending more. Wilcox spent 92% of her campaign funds as of Friday. The last time this county commission seat was up for grabs, the primary election was essentially the de facto general election. And it looks to be pretty much the same thing this time around. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. Now, there is no Democrat running for the Mobile County Commission District 3 seat. In the previous election, Jerry Carl beat incumbent Mike Dean in a runoff. A runoff this time is virtually impossible. And you can meet the candidates running in the March 1st primary tomorrow in Theodore. Magnolia Springs Baptist Church will host a town hall style meeting. All the candidates have been invited from the following races, the U.S. Congressional seat for District 1, the County Commission seat that Chad just mentioned, Circuit Court Judge, also positions in Mobile County Schools, and the State Board of Education. The town hall starts at 6.30 tomorrow night.